we've got three out of the four flaps done for the airplane. And we came up with a little bit of a problem on the third one. And we'll go over that. And uh, yeah, I've got to prep all the stuff for the fourth one. And that's why I waited to film so that I'd have some little bit of knowledge about what we're going to do today. So welcome back and let's get in the game. Okay, my thoughts on flaps are they control the plane and we don't want a heavy wing. These are all hooked together and this one has come out really good on the end and they're good and level. Uh, but I had issues with that one's just slightly down, but it still sits flat. This is the one I had issues with. It's the innermost and it's near this, the fuselage. And when all the ribs were clecoed in and the spar, this was, you could get the clecos in and it would just force it down something awful. I, I didn't take any pictures of it. I wish I would have. I was just not filming because I wanted to have knowledge of these three before I did the fourth in film. But here we are. And the fix is I talked to Roger and they they were off about a half a hole and after measuring a lot and putting a straight edge from the front edge of these attachment points the answer was the bottom holes were correct so the top ones had to be modified and the standard build practices to um, drill these up size and change what you need if that's enough movement well that was plenty of movement they were only off a half a hole and I didn't want to just drill down through the top and hog out the skin because then it would only it would only do one side. And I wanted it less of that back and forth. So we filed I filed the holes before I drilled to give them a, the bottom one a uh a chance to uh upsize with the drill, if that makes sense. So these are A5s now. The standard build practice also from Roger was that we could put more rivets in between these rivets if we weren't happy with that fix. I was very happy with that fix, but I still decided to go um, every other and put a four in. Now that's the attachment point that controls the wing and it's stronger, I think, than it was originally. So I'm very happy with it. Plus it's very flat and that's what we wanted. This one, on the other hand, when I was done, it was uh, flat, but they just slightly moved down. I don't know if that's going to change the flight characteristics at all, but a person could probably devise a way to stress that radius slightly up and take that out of that if you, if you had to. I'm not going to do anything with it at this point. So when we get to this part, uh, if this one has any issues, hopefully I can show you as we go, um, I'll show you how to fix it. This is something I'm going to do automatically because I had to on all other three um, eventually anyway. This doesn't have a problem clearing or this, this back one either. But right here where the angle wants to come up here on this, it this likes to touch. So I increase the radius here and take off about it's more up in this end, but I take it off kind of normal, but like that. So we'll draw it on here and get that gone. C75A1-6 is the control horn. Time to clean it up.
Now just follow the destructions. I found it was helpful to put these two pieces together before putting them on the uh, rib and spar. And I believe the head should go on that and the shop should go on the thick side. You can do this any way you see fit. But what I do next is I don't put the rear spar on. I put three Clicos in and the, the bearing bracket, I call it. I'd have to look it up, I'm not sure of the name. I start with that. I'm gonna rivet that first. The head on this side. That didn't just happen. Let's see if we can do that again. <laughs> I was kidding. Almost did it again. All right. Now that's ready for removal and we can put the rib in. It's a really simple uh, piece on the plane. This is the flat spots, the bottom. Always these go according to the instructions. I believe it's out. I'll take time to check just to make sure. They're all I got left, so it better be right. On there, you can tell the dotted line shows the edge of the wall behind there. So yes, they all go out. So with this on there, this is the inner, that's the outer, sitting like that. That's correct. Now this is this is not really got room to get a, a, a rivet gun up in there. This one pretty much does. You can just bend this tab out of the way, or you can tilt this whole thing out slightly. You choose however you want to do it. It doesn't matter which way the rivet goes because they're all the same metal. This may sound a little anal, but I like to go with the big guns. I did a testing, hand pulling and gun pulling. The gun does pull it so that when you measure it, it's a few thousandths more closed or shallower, the back side. Yep, everything's in place. Lines to back up. On a couple of them, I did this, where I bent this tab out of the way. This is almost easier just to lean back. There's lots of flexibility there. This was, it worked, but. Now for the moment of truth. Put the skeleton in and see if the ends fit once it's all clicked up. almost blew right by this without filming it. <laughs> I got my end bracket on and there's L material that we you have to build a little angle bracket and match drill it all up. And I was just doing my final drilling on uh, A5s and it fits really nice and everything's going well. Here comes the scary part. All right, this end's all riveted up. It's all riveted everywhere except this line and I've got a little piece of plywood here and this one's just goes in a quarter of an inch so that it just captures the back edge of this and we can see in real time because we're going to do this one shot this is crazy of course out here some here click players I got this just 
the right thickness piece of wood. And it never, it's so sketchy, it just never goes like super smooth. So you'd be really entertained by this. And of course, I had to open up, not that side, that hook's on the table. Down here, I wanted to get it all the way down to the bottom. And that hook had that hook on the, on the uh, ratchet strap had to be opened up. Well, it happened. I ran out of battery right in the middle of that, and there was no way I was going to undo. I got it all clicoed in and went back to the camera, and it was off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, it went good, and it's level, and all the mods went well. So all I did is uh, finished up the ends, and... I upsized these and on the other one that's over there. And so that was the that was the deal with these. They have a tendency to want to twist and not just from sandbags from the ends. This one actually wasn't as bad as the other side, but it was on the other end. So really don't understand it, but it's right and it's upgraded and stronger. So I'm very happy with the fix. So thanks for coming along. Next thing we're gonna start is the wing. See you guys. <laughs>